In today's video, I want to take a look at parsing a date inside JavaScript. So here we have a simple string that is in the ISO format. And uh, well, you have here the date, right? Then we have an uppercase T and you have the time and then the milliseconds as well and the time zone saying that we are in uh, UTC. How can we parse this uh, in JavaScript without using any libraries? Well, the first way to go about it is just use the date object. So here we can say let date equals new date of str. Okay, fine. So that's going to accept the string and it's going to try to parse it in the different formats that uh, it recognizes. So this is nice. Let's also log the results and then just log the date. And we're going to see it on the right if I launch this program. So here we can notice that it actually parsed it correctly. Here we have the month of May, which was noted by the uh, the fifth month and then 11th is the date and then 2020 is the year of course and then the hour was really converted to my local time zone so we have gmt plus three here but it is correct because 17 at gmt plus three is actually 14 at gmt makes sense but this is a simple way of doing it if you actually have an iso string i really do like this version the issue is if you're not using an ISO string. So let's say if I don't have an ISO string here and instead I have a string that is formatted for, let's say, United Kingdom, where they start their dates with the actual date, so 11th of May 2020. If we try to actually use this, you're going to notice that if I launch it, I'm going to get November or 5th of November. 2020 instead of the proper uh, 11th of May. So the month and date got reversed without us actually knowing uh, this. So it is very dangerous to actually parse it like this. Really, in the case you have to actually work with this format, well, you're kind of out of luck. What you have to do is, well, you have two options. Uh, you either start parsing it yourself by splitting the string at uh, the slash character and then actually just uh, cobbling it up into parts or use a, an external library. So here I can use the moment.js library. And if I change this constructor to just call the moment library, so moment of str and here I can pass in the format that I'm using. So that would be the day first, then the month and then the year, just like so. And I'm going to also notice this date now is a moment object. So I'm going to also convert it back to a date object just so that we can see it nicely on the screen. If I launch this, you're going to notice I get uh, instead of November, I get the month of May again, and it is the correct uh, date. So this is one way to do it. Another way would be to just split the string. So you would do something like let parts equals str.split at slash. And I would just say let date equals new date of and it, a date actually has many constructors and one of them is taking basically a number for every single component of your uh, of your date. So what you can do here is say first the year. So the year would be our parts, right? Here we have an array of strings and it should have uh, three strings in it. If I don't change it. It should have three strings in it and the uh, parts of two should be the year, but I also have to parse it as an int and I'll just say parse int of two, then parse int of parts of one. So that would be the month and then parse int of parts of zero. Now, one more tricky part about this uh, sort of conversion you have to take a look at is the month. So the month is actually indexed from zero. So uh, January is actually the zero month and February is the, the first month and so on and so forth. So we're going to have to like uh, actually subtract one from the month so that we get the proper date. And then if I comment this out and just use date here, if we launch this, you're going to notice that I'm going to get May 11th of May 2020. So that is also a way to parse your date. Now, getting a little bit back to the ISO format. So if you use that and suppose that 
you want to check if the string itself is a date and you don't know it might be a date it might be a number it might be a boolean whatever how do you check that well there is a way it is a bit convoluted without a library but you can actually do this so if you have an iso string remember uh what you have to do is just say let date equals new date so just like normal you would parse it but then well of course it would properly parse the issue w would be that if you would have for example instead of this be str equals something like a number that is a thousand you're gonna get well january 1st 1970 and it would be still a valid date it would be just like 50 years in the past okay so uh that wouldn't be great and one way to actually check this again if the str is exactly the iso string that it's representing what you can do is say if date dot to iso string this is a function on a date object is equal to str then well let's say print it on screen else let's say console.log invalid date so if i run this with the iso string of course i'm going to get the date on the screen but if i actually run this with like a number here i'm going to get invalid date so that works very well and this works nicely also if you have just parts of the iso string so if you have for example everything except the milliseconds or the time zone or if you have just the date itself but it is in like partially the iso format that's fine you can actually just trim the strings so just taking the first i think it's 10 characters for this and then uh, a few more for this whole thing uh, and just compare those so both this and the uh, str has to be trimmed a little bit because twice of string actually gives you exactly this string uh, with the milliseconds and with the time zone here do note here that this uh, format this check only works if the string is in utc if it's not in utc it doesn't work it doesn't work because the date constructor actually uh converts this the date to utc by default so uh if i have here a console log for date dot to iso string you'll notice that the iso string is actually as you can see 11 o'clock even though i have here 14 o'clock but it's at plus 3 utc so i'm gonna actually get a different time and if it's at uh, midnight i might get even a different date so just trimming it isn't an option at that point at that point what i suggest you do is again split at probably the uh, uppercase t and then do the same thing we did with the parts just split everything into parts and start working with it again this is all if you don't have an external library to work with i really suggest you install uh this moment js or other library that you prefer when working with dates because uh dates in javascript are not great at all to work with and parsing them and uh, even even you if you manage to parse them it's kind of difficult to also convert them back to a string you're gonna have to probably just concatenate it together with all its parts instead of properly setting up a format like in most libraries with moment.js it's very easy to uh, parse and then to format a uh, date uh, one thing that i didn't take a look at was the date.parse function so some people suggest using this instead date.parse is again it's basically the same parser except it takes in a string so str but it spits out not a date instead it spits out a number the number of well milliseconds between that date and the uh, january 1st 1970 so we're gonna have to just convert it back to a date but all in all that is the same thing as just by passing in the str um, to the constructor as you can see here we get the same result and that's really all there is to parsing a date in javascript all in all i really suggest you use an external library all right so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you got something out of this video if you do have any questions do leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server take care